When I use Vim, if I open a file that already has some text in it, such as this file here, normally I want to be in normal mode. That is, I want to be able to move my cursor around the text that already exists in the file and make some changes by going into insert mode if I want to do that. But if I open a file that is empty, such as a brand new file, then normally I do not want to be in normal mode to begin with because I'm probably going to immediately start inputting some text into this file. Now that may not be the case for you. Maybe you have reasons to be in normal mode in empty files yourself, but for me, 99% of the time, if I open an empty file, I want to immediately go into insert mode, and having to press I to get into an insert mode is just an unnecessary extra step. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how to configure your VimRC file so that whenever you open empty files or empty buffers, Vim will begin in insert mode. Now to start with, it's important to note that we're talking about doing three very distinct things here. We want to start in insert mode when Vim is used to create a new file. We want to start in insert mode when we open a new buffer that's empty. And we want to start in insert mode when we open an already existing blank file. Now in all three of those cases, as I said, 99% of the time I want to immediately be in insert mode. So in that video, I'm going to cover how to actually configure Vim to enter insert mode automatically in all three of those circumstances. Now the first one I want to cover is entering insert mode when you open a brand new file with Vim. So there's no file in this directory called new. So I'm going to do Vim new and as you can see, it's an empty file, but I'm in normal mode here. Now, I would like to start in insert mode when I do something like this, when I start a brand new file with Vim. So, I want to change my .vimrc, which is a few directories back here. At the bottom here, I want to add a line that configures Vim to open brand new files in insert mode. And we want to do that with auto command. Now, an auto command is just a command that is executed automatically when certain conditions are met. And it is exactly what we want in this specific situation. The particular auto command that we want to put here is buff new file space star space start insert. Now what we're saying here is whenever we open a new file or buffer, we want to start in insert mode. Very simple and straightforward, but it will provide us with what we need in at least one of the major common circumstances here. So let's right quit that. And if I go back here and run the same command that I did before, vim new, you'll see that I start immediately in insert mode. So I can go ahead and add some text. All right, well, that's all well and good, but there is one circumstance where this line that we've added to our vimrc file isn't going to start us in insert mode. And that is when we start vim with no file name specified. As you'll see, we still are in normal mode here. So I would have to press I to go into insert. And we don't want that. We want to enter insert mode even when we start vim without specifying a file because we could always write our changes to a file name later. So let's once again open up the vimrc. And here at the bottom, I want to add another auto command. And this one is a little bit more complicated. This one's going to begin with vim enter, which is basically just triggering when we start vim. It actually specifically triggers after everything that is involved with vim startup is finished. But then we want to say star, and then if, we're doing an if statement here, empty, that is if this thing we're working with is empty, expand, and then in quotation marks the percent sign, what that means is basically just fetch the current file name and expand that out. So what we're saying is if the current file is empty, then we also want to start and insert. So start insert and then end if to end the if statement. Now we can write changes here. And if we start vim now without specifying file name, you'll see that we begin in insert mode without having to press anything. All right, there's one more situation where we want to begin in insert mode, and that's when we open an already existing file that is empty. Now, once again, it's my personal preference, but if a file already exists and it's empty and I open it with Vim, once again, I'm almost certainly going to want to start immediately inserting text. If you don't think that's true for you, you don't have to add this line to your VimRC, but I'm going to show you how to make that work anyway. To begin with, for example, we have two files here. One is called new file that has nothing in it, and the other is called text file that has a little bit of text in it. If I open up text file, then I do not begin in insert mode. I begin in normal mode navigating around the text, and that's what I want. But if I open new file, 
you can see that I also began in normal mode. And since this is an empty file, I would like to start in insert mode to save me that keystroke. So let's get out of here and once again open back up that .vimrc file. Okay, once again, we want one last auto CMD line, and it's also going to begin with vim enter when we start vim star and then another if statement. But here, instead of empty, what we want to say is get f size. That's basically get the file size. We also, once again, want to do expand and then the percent sign in quotation marks to get the file name. So get the file size of the current file. And then we want to say if that is equal to zero, that is it has nothing in it, then we want to start in insert mode. And then end if. Now this is the way that I figured out how to do this. There may be a better way to accomplish this specific task, but this is a single line that's very similar to the one that we did to start in insert mode when we don't specify a file name. And so I kind of like this one. If you know of a better way, please let me know in the comments. But this one works pretty good for my purposes. But anyway, let's go ahead and write our changes there. And once again, let's try to open new file, which has nothing in it. And as you can see, we begin right away in insert mode. All right, that about does it for this video, everybody. Thank you for watching. Um, those are just a few useful VimRC settings that I like to use because I really like to save that one extra keystroke, you know. And, and it does make a difference if you've been using it for quite a while and you have to open and edit lots of new files. I do that quite a bit. But anyway, yeah, thank you all for watching and hopefully this was helpful to you and I will see you next time.